guys i'm going to show you how to install this hair i love this freaking hair this hair is from asteria hair you guys it's 22 inch deep wave lace front wig i really believe it got to be longer than that because look how long it's coming on me so i know it's got to be kind of longer than that so when i find my tape measure i definitely give you guys the details and let you know what's up but for right now let's just go ahead and get into the video of how i install this bomb looking wig souls i said fuck it up Westside nigga, we be fucking up. Let me go ahead and wig. I ain't got no time to waste today. So today I'm going to apply my wig. Okay, so I'm back. Y'all know how I am. Y'all, my hair is growing so much. It's growing a lot, a lot, a lot. But let's get into the video. So you guys know how I do it today. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, you guys know these braids are like an old, but what I'm going to do today is going to take a little bit of alcohol. I only have a little bit left, so I'm going to try to use what I got to get what I need, baby. So I'm going to clean here. I've already cleaned my face for today. Last night I greased my hair because I didn't want my hair to be hella greasy today and then try to put out wig. So I did grease my hair yesterday and I'm just cleaning this. With 91% alcohol. Your normal basic alcohol. But I feel like this gets it the best. So use at your own risk. I usually take my knee highs. A lot of people asked me last time in the last video what kind of knee highs I were using. The knee highs I like to use are Style Central knee highs. They, like I said, come five pair. And I got the one size in nude. I got, these are Hanes brand. And I ended up getting these from CVS. I also got my alcohol from there too, as well. Lady. I always tell y'all. Knee highs work better. You want that sako fit, okay? Cool. And with this, you can stretch it. A couple people were telling me in the last video, they were like, oh, the method you use, like, I feel like if I use that, pretty much it's going to be too little for my head. You guys understand that these knee highs do come in plus size as well. This is standard size knee highs. So if you wanted to, you can get plus size. Um, you don't need to, I'm going to be honest, you don't need the wig cap to be tight on your hair too. And other people were saying, oh, do I need the wig cap to be tight on my head? No, you don't need to be tight on your head because honestly, that's just going to give you headaches. But if you got a bigger wig cap, it's easier because you think about it, like your securing this to your head, it's already going to be secure anyway. So you don't need it to be tight to secure to your head. I'm gonna put that on my head. Okay, so what I'm doing is pulling it down. The hair is back. Push it down back. I'm going to take this, cut it again. Like I told you guys. And then we're going to do the method again. The method I'm talking about. I don't know. We need to come up with a name for this method. So anybody in the comments below, you got a name for this method that I'm going to do. So this is the method I did the other day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in the middle of my ear it's literally a little teeny hole and then pull my ear through what should we call this method y'all i did a video on it last week and i'm doing a video on it again today but it's the pull should we call it the pull through method ear method secure your ear wig, wig ear i don't know anyway it's just something i came up with so it's not really that deep, but you guys, that's pretty much what I do here. This hole helps to secure this part down, these tabs down. And when you want to put your wig in a ponytail, it helps secure this wig part down too. So, take my got to be glued, blasting freeze spray and spray it. And I'm going to spray this and see what's hitting for. Now, I did say that you don't have to use a blow dry with this, but you don't, I mean, technically you don't have to use a blow dry with this method. You don't. But if you want it to dry faster, I recommend using a blow dryer method because, of course, the blow dryer is going to work faster. But with me, I just do this, do some work around the house, like edit a video, wash dishes, and then when I, it's dry, I come back and do another. So I prefer not to sit there with a blow dryer. If you want to, you can. If you're going to blow dry it down, do the blow dryer method. I recommend doing it on um, cool setting because if you do hot setting, I believe it'll melt it. So I'm spraying like OP too much, but hey, to each his own. Do that and let it dry. Put it down so it's not like in your face. So now it's comfortable on my face, waiting for it to dry. Just waiting for it to dry. 
And then I'm gonna do three layers of this. So this is the first layer. Okay guys, so right now I'm gonna actually go through and cut the cap off. So like you guys can see right here, pretty much I can just, okay. So basically all I gotta do now is cut this off. And my scissors, I thought they were better, but I guess not. Anyway, so last time, I really do prefer using scissors. I'm sorry, but when the scissors are shitty, it don't work out in my favor. Oh shit. Okay, so see? Now I can go through and cut these little teeny ass pieces off. Ah. Of course, I don't want it down here anyway, so I'm trying to like peel it back a little. I'm trying to get close to my hairline without overstepping my hairline. So I need to cut this. Okay, then we just pull back a little bit. Pull it back. And this stuff, like I want that a little bit closer. And then up here, I want that a little bit closer to, you know, clean. It'll burn a little bit though because, of course, you scratch yourself. And then, like I told you guys, you can take your finger, all the pieces that's not laying down, press them. Okay, you guys, so this is a wig that I got from Asteria Hair. This is a deep wake wig. Like you guys already know, I plucked it um, pretty much. I bleached the knots, all that stuff. And this is the natural curl pattern. I literally just got done washing it and drying it. But it's not completely dry. It's still damp. I didn't place this on my head. So I use the code Glamazon Tay. You can get $8 off any Asteria hair. So you guys definitely keep that tuned. But right now I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty. And I'm actually going to put it on the back of my head. Take it on the back of my hand. Put it on here like a brush I have. And I'm going to actually put it on this this is helping to make the color the cap the same color as my scalp um someone else asked me can you reuse these caps i mean i'm sure you can but it's just way easier not to reuse this cap because you see the method you have to hold it down and stretch it for it to be able to be like that with that you pretty much would if you, you use this cap you have to hold it down and let it drop like that's just and i'm actually going to go ahead with this wig and take the same color I'm putting on my hand and brush it compared to this side. So I know you can see a little bit like right there compared to this. So see how much darker it is over here. From now pretty much I changed the cap color. You guys see I tint my lace as you guys can see. So it looks like it's gonna match pretty well. Everything is kind of dry. So what I'm gonna do is now go through, uh, do my hair. Okay. So you guys see I sat this down. I didn't comb no I didn't put no baby hairs in this yet either. So literally. Okay, so I got me a scarf. So pretty much with my score. Hold it up like this, like I always do. I got me a little edgy brush, which is this is the brush my camera is dying, so I'm like trying to hurry up, but just back. And then leave this forward. Push this back. like this you can hold it like this and blow dry it or you actually can hold it like this and put your scarf on i'm just gonna blow dry it up so i can get it done okay so i'm gonna put my scarf on this off and this is what she giving on my head and i'm gonna part it like see it looks real thick to be honest when i go through and part it like this it's helping me to create a more natural looking look. Like you see what I'm doing? And I'll just wipe like that. So what I like to do is pull that back. Now I'm about to lace lay these baby hairs. So, and I am noticing a little bit of shedding because I had to pluck the hairline. So I'm trying to figure out if it's from the, the hair or it's because I was plucking it. So just letting you guys know a little something. I am gonna cut this real quick while I'm like right here. So this can go like. So like I said, I'm gonna work on this rest of this part, but I gotta go somewhere, so I'll be back. I'll be back. So you guys, this is the ending result, sis. The ending result of my hair. I freaking love it. 
I haven't had curly hair in so freaking long, so y'all know I'm hella hype, super duper hype. Who the hell is y'all outside? I got some new videos coming this week, so definitely stay tuned. I got so much love on my last video, and you guys, I just had sat there and said, oh my god, nobody really watches hair reviews no more. And look at God, sis, look at God. So, you know, I'm coming through with the hair video. I know this was kind of repetitive of last week, but I appreciate y'all for watching anyway, supporting me anyway. I freaking love y'all. I really wanted to just show off the hair. Give y'all a little hair tease, little hair porn, sis, so. Let me do this video, edit this video, get it for you on this beautiful Sunday. I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm going to be uploading on Tuesday. And yo, okay, okay, mm. okay, 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 mm. okay, okay, oh. I love y'all so much. <laughs>